Hey guys, so today I'm here to do the 50 facts about me tag. I wasn't tagged by anyone in particular, but I found this tag to be very interesting because in the past couple of months I've gained a few new subscribers and I just think it's fun for you guys to learn more about me. So if you're interested in this tag, then definitely stay tuned. I wrote them all here and it took me a while to figure these out. It was, it was pretty, had to really, you know, go in and just really rack my brain for these 50 facts. But these are 50 things that you guys might or might not know about me. So let's get started. I'm 25. I'm the oldest of five children. I have three brothers and two sisters. They're all younger than me, of course. I don't eat chicken on the bone except for wings. And it has to be the flat, like the little flat part of the wing, the flapper part. Um, I know at Wingstop they call them the flats. That's the only type of chicken on the bone I will eat. My first job was at Panda Express. I've lived on my own and supported myself since I was 18 years old. So a little over, so about seven years now. Growing up, I always wanted three kids, but for now, like since having Christian, I am good with just one. So if I just have one child my whole life, I can honestly say I'd be happy. My favorite job was at a daycare. I used to work there when I was in my freshman year of college and it was so fun. I worked with the two to three year old, well they, I think they were early, early twos or early three. My real government name is Mo Crystal. Many of y'all might not know that but I hate that name. It's Get to the Toe. Get to. Do you hear me? I hate, hate, hate carrying cash. I don't like having cash on me because I feel like I spend it so quickly and I won't have anything to show. Like, I can have $100 in five minutes is gone. I'll be like, where'd it go? I still have two living great-grandparents. So Christian has two great-great-grandmas that are still living. Um, both of their husbands have passed away, but it's a great-grandma on my... They're both on my dad's side, actually. I started couponing in July of 2013, and to me, I just like to call it a small, small hobby. It's nothing ridiculous. You know, I'm not an extreme couponer or anything like that. I just coupon for my small little needs. I am addicted to sweet tea, and when I was pregnant, I told myself I was not going to drink sweet tea, and that was so hard. Like, I feel like I, I replaced it with water, so that was really good, but sweet tea... Boy, that's my addiction. I love having my nails done, but I hate sitting there waiting for the whole process. So just the process alone will definitely keeps me from getting them done. Like, I feel like it just takes forever. Like the whole just putting it and filing it and buffing it, ugh, takes forever. When I was pregnant, I couldn't eat any type of chicken. No chicken, not even a chicken strip, a chicken anything. A really weird thing, I love numbers, but I hate math. Like, don't get put me in an algebra class, don't put me in a statistics class, which honestly, guys, I don't know how I got through college taking those classes. It was literally by the grace of God. When I was growing up, I never played any type of sports. The only thing that I did that was semi-sports related, which, I mean, it is still a sport, but as far as a team sport, I never did any, any of that. But the only thing I did do was like gymnastics and I did a little bit of cheerleading. But a team sport, me and a ball, mm -mm, my hand-eye coordination is zero. Um, another thing, when I found out after pregnancy, but basically I have gallstones and I do need to get those removed. Um, but since, you know, since finding out what it is and what causes it and everything, I know what to eat and what not to eat to make them flare up. I have been to Disney World two times and I cannot wait to take Christian like I just feel like that's gonna be the most fun experience I cannot wait to just go with him I know I definitely want to take him on a Disney cruise but you know definitely when he is a little older and he'll be able to remember it of course but Disney World is loads of fun. I am natural, but I do not know how to do my own hair. Growing up I was always afraid to sleep by myself so I slept with my grandma until I was about 13 or 14 years old. Mayo and I's Mayo and I. Me and Emmanuel. I know it's not me and Emmanuel, but mm, that is, just doesn't sound right. But the nickname for Emmanuel and I that we call each other is Bear. I don't know where that come, came from, but we just, we call each other Bear. I hate raw tomatoes, but I will eat a cooked tomato. Does that make sense? No. I have traveled to 12 of the 50 states and 
I can honestly say I want to, I would like to go to every state there is in America, but honestly, every state in America doesn't interest me. The only country that I've ever traveled to is Mexico, and I went on a cruise back in 2010, yeah, 2010, with my mom and her family, my stepdad and brother and sister. We went on a cruise to Cozumel. My favorite class in college that I took was human resources. I just loved everything about human resources. I feel like that's the career field that I belong in. I am very, very anal about certain things. One of the number one things I'm so anal about is how Christian's bottles are washed. I don't know why, but honestly, if I just could do it on my own, I mean, I appreciate when Emmanuel does it, which he's learned to do it to my liking, but anyone else, I just don't like them to wash his bottles. I don't know why, but I just feel like there's a certain way it goes, a certain rhythm I have, and not everyone understands that. My biggest pet peeve is when people don't listen. Oh my goodness, don't let me tell you a story or be talking to you and then you're like, wait, huh? Or not, e okay, not even, I can understand if you didn't understand me, but just definitely not listening, I hate that. Like, that's my biggest pet peeve ever. Watching TV gets on my nerves. I know that's so weird, but literally, as you know, it's been said a thousand times on YouTube, but literally, YouTube is my TV. I love eating turkey sandwiches. I'll go anywhere and I'll just opt for a turkey sandwich. And that was the very, very first thing that I wanted after giving birth. I love animals. My favorites are cats and dogs. A small dog, big dog, any type of dog, I'm not afraid of it. I don't know how I'm not afraid of dogs, but a pit bull, a German Shepherd, anything, I'll go up to the dog and be like, hi puppy, and just you know, I just feel like dogs like me. I've never been bitten by a dog. Let me knock on wood. But, I mean, I've never been bitten by a dog, so I just feel like I have no reason to fear them. I make lists for everything. I just, I find lists to be very, mm, what's the word? I find it to be very, like, it's like a calmer, I don't know the correct word. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But, I just love writing lists. The hardest beauty, um, beauty, not beauty trend, but the hardest thing about doing makeup to me is to apply lashes. I cannot apply lashes to save my life. If someone said, here Crystal, we're putting this gun to your head and we want you to apply your lashes straight, like honestly, I mean, I'd probably die. My dream home is a two-story, five-bedroom house. I always wanted a big home and I've always wanted two stories. And honestly, I would love to live in Atlanta because their real estate is so affordable. You can have a nice, huge mansion that somewhere, you know, even in Texas, it would cost you like a couple hundred thousand more than what it would cost you in Atlanta. So I just, I really hope my life ends up in Atlanta. Um, I am always late to everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. The only thing that I'm not usually late to is work, which I'm late to work sometimes, but not all the time. Um, I mean, not significantly late, like a couple minutes, but uh, me and time, especially since having Christian, my time management has gotten a lot worse. I am afraid of wearing lipstick. Now you might say, what? You know, you, you have all this makeup and blah, blah, blah. I buy lipstick, I put it on and everything, but honestly, I just feel like it doesn't look good on me all the time. I smell everything. I don't know where I got this habit from. I would like to say that I am an Apple junkie. I have, you know, ever since owning an iPhone, which I got an iPhone, what, three years ago. But ever since owning an iPhone, I will never see myself going back to any type of phone. I love it, love it, love it. iPhone, my MacBook. Um, I mean, that's the only two Apple products I have now. I used to have an iPad, but it was just too hard trying to incorporate my iPad and my MacBook. I say all to everything. Like, if you tell me something, be like, oh, that's cute, or oh, like, I don't know. And, and people, they'll always tease me, like, girl, stop saying all. Like, why do you always say all? I love wearing sandals, so definitely spring and summertime are my favorite seasons, but definitely, you know, in Texas, it's. Ugh, so hot all the time but sandals are my number one fave my favorite color is pink which you probably already know like most girls but that is my favorite color I used to like pink and purple but since the, but I don't know a while ago I just forgot purple and I love pink 
I hate using a dishwasher. I don't know what it is, but I just, I don't like using a dishwasher. But then again, I don't like washing dishes either. So it's kind of like, okay, you just don't want clean dishes. I mean, of course I don't want dirty dishes, but I don't know. I just don't like either or. I had my I had my first and only, which I pray to God, it will definitely be my only um, car wreck at the age of 18. And it kind of messed up my lip. I have slight OCD, which it's not even anything you know upset it's not too serious it's just very very slight like say you know I'm sitting somewhere and I see like phones or something like I'm gonna just like line all the phones up I don't know it's just it's weird things like I like things you know and order and lines and stuff like that I have three tattoos two of which are totally pointless I wish I never got them to this day and the only one that even means anything to me now is my this one here the most visible one that you'll always see most of the time I don't mind cooking but I just think it takes too long I don't know what it is but it's like I just feel like if I cook it on high then I end up burning it then if I cook it on low then I just feel like it didn't or like medium you know somewhere like medium low or medium high it's like it just takes so long so I just feel like it's just like a draining process by the time you cook and then eat and clean the dishes and clean the kitchen. Ah, oh, it's so much. I overthink and overanalyze everything. Like when I tell you I probably have, you know, 50 scenarios for every event in my head. Like there's so many scenarios that go through my head and just overthinking stuff and oh, well, what is she going to think? And if I do this, then what are they going to think? And da 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 that's being a leaper for you like I just I'd like everything equal and it's just hard it's life right I don't like beer like I will never drink beer it's just it's not I don't want to say it's not ladylike because I know there are women out there that drink beer that are very classy but I just don't like it for me it's like the taste I just can't take it I'll do wine I'll do you know some um I don't even really do brown liquor I'll do white liquor but not even brown liquor I have a very good sense of direction I could go somewhere like once and then remember how to get home or go somewhere and I don't know I've just always been a driver like I like driving um I want an aka pageant when I was in the seventh grade so I am Miss Precious Pearl 2001 and the last one I am a very emotional person it doesn't take a lot for me to cry especially sad movies and everything so if any of these facts are relatable to you definitely leave them down below and I will see you guys later bye